Oh, hey, Vinny, you remember Guillermo, don't you? Oh, yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He was out in his wood shop working on something when he heard his wife screaming, Don't go there! Don't go in the church, you idiot! Oh, what did he do? He ran inside to check on her. Found out she was just watching TV. What was she watching? Their wedding video. Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Polly. This guy over here is Vinny Two Times. Hey, doing? And we are the Wise Guys, and we're here to bring you our award-winning show. We pick the winners. Where? We, we pick, pick the, the winners. winners. So, Pepper, who's the new man? What makes you think that? Because you don't work out that hard unless you're trying to impress someone. It's true. That's not true. Oh. I'm just trying to get back in shape. I love to work out. In fact, I do ten sit-ups every morning. That might not sound like much. But there are only so many times you can hit the snooze button. Okay, sorry I asked. <laughs> well, if you must know, I did meet someone. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> His name is Johnny Ringo. Oh, he is such a gentleman. Johnny Ringo, that's Mary's friend. Mary and I are getting along great, which is good for me because I have terrible luck with women. I mean, the worst, oh, I had this blind date a little while back. Everybody described her as a real fox. Turns out she liked to eat out of bins at night. But I drew the line when she wanted to go raid a hen house. Yeah. You could say he's a southern gentleman. Yeah, that's because he's from the south. Nothing showcases the difference between the north and the south than what you can find at a zoo. For instance, a northern zoo has the name of the animal on the cage and then right next to it, the name in Latin. A southern zoo has the name of the animal on the cage and right next to it, the recipe. Donnie! Good, you're here. So, what's the surprise? Not now, Guinea. You'll just have to wait till we get home. I hope it's... <laughs> you are so bad. I love surprises. I love surprises too. But there was one that stands out more than any other. This one time, I told Guinea that when he came over to make himself comfortable and to meet me in the bedroom, I was so excited that as soon as I arrived, I started taking off all my clothes and headed to the bedroom. It was his birthday and I wanted to do something special. As I opened the bedroom door, there I was, standing there completely naked in front of mom, dad, and 20 of my closest friends. Surprise! I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> well, you two seem to be getting along just fine. <laughs> we took Tina's advice and had a session with Dr. Gaylord Crane. And oh. it worked wonders. I've never felt more alive and refreshed. I know, and I, 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 my feelings of fear and anxiety are all gone. <laughs> Is he a hypnotherapist? Maybe I can use him for my new man. Oh, mm -hmm. good for you. How did you two meet? It was so romantic. Well, speaking of romance, if you don't mind, we got a show to do. That's true. Hey, ladies, why don't you go get ready for your fantasy girl yeah, segment? It right is coming me. right up, okay? <laughs> all right, well, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, huh? yeah. All right, well, uh, this is part of the show we tell you all about the rest of the show. This is the conference championship. So instead of having a bust out, bust out game of the week, we have a bust out, bust out players of the game. But we do have everything else you've come to know and love. We, of course, have our ironclad lock, lead pipe cinch, personally picked whack, whack of the week. week. And we also have our fantasy must-haves. And who helps us with the fantasy must-haves? That's my favorite part. It's everybody's favorite part. It's those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls. Oh, I never oh. get tired of that. Oh, no, not at all. Hey, let's pick our bust out, bust out players of the game. Yeah, many two times, take it away. Okay, Big Polly, my bust out, bust out player of the game focuses in on the New England Patriots Denver Broncos game, specifically New England Patriots. And that, my player would be Buffalo born and raised Rob Gronkowski, better known as The oh, Gronk. Yeah. 72 catches, uh, 1,176 yards, 11 touchdowns. But more specifically, last week, he had seven catches for 83 yards and two touchdowns. He dominated, and Denver is going to have no answer. He's going to dominate again this week. I like him as my bust out, bust out player of the game. There you go. All right. And now, time for my bust out, bust out player of the game. My game is the National Conference. It is the Arizona Cardinals versus the Carolina Panthers. Specifically, I'm looking at the Panthers. Mm -hmm. Specifically, the Panthers defense. Specifically, Luke Keekley, linebacker for the uh, for the uh, Carolina Panthers. That's right. 
on the year, he has 118 tackles with four interceptions. But last week against Seattle, which is a team that plays well in the postseason, yes, right. he had 11 tackles, one interception for a pick six. <laughs> I think that Luke Kuechly is going to mess up the plans of the Arizona Cardinals. And that is why he is my bust out, bust out player of the game. And now we're going to grab a conference championship beer. We suggest you do the same. We'll see you on the other side, all right? I'm going to have a beer. And we are back. And now it is time for our ironclad lock. Lead pipe sandwich, personally picked. Whack of the week. week. Oh, oh nice that's music done, to my ears. Hey, Big Polly, I'm going to go first, okay? Oh, that's unusual. He never does yeah, that. Yeah. So. My can't miss got to have it. Whack of the week has the 13 and 4 New England Patriots at the 13 and 4 Denver Broncos as pretty boy Tom Brady takes on the sheriff. Peyton Manning at Sports Authority Field at Mile High. Okay, Big Paulie, let's review, shall we? That's your process. Okay, last week, New England crushed uh, Kansas City, a good football team, mm -hmm. because Pey uh, uh, Tom Brady is Tom Brady, uh, Gronk is Gronk, uh, Edelman is Edelman, and, you know, Belichick is Belichick. Mm -hmm. And now they're going up against the sheriff, Peyton Manning, in the home field advantage. But guess what? Peyton doesn't play in cold weather. No. Neither does uh, Demarius Thomas. And, you know, I'm going to be rooting for the Denver Broncos. You know that? Mm -hmm. But I'm picking the uh, New England Patriots. I'm sorry. <laughs> the New England Patriots is going to blow these guys out. They're going to they're gonna win. I say it's going to be yeah, a mini blowout, 54-3. to three. Ooh. There you go. All right, I I'm picking the Denver Broncos just Ooh. because of Peyton Manning. I want him in the Super Bowl one more time. It is a pick from the heart. Uh, and it's going to be a close game, 28-27. Uh, Oh, good pick. There we go. Hey, ladies, do you have an opinion on this? Uh, 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 Miss Dottie DeVille, who do you like in this no, game? Well, I like your pick. I like the underdogs. Usually we're informed, but I'm going to have to go with the New England Patriots. It's Tom Brady. I think they're going to win. And Tom Brady already has a good look. He has Giselle. Just give him the Super Bowl, people. Mm -hmm. Come on. There well, he's got to earn it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good pick. It's a good pick. It's not I'm like he's never it. been there before. Yeah, really. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, Miss Pepper Anderson, do you have an opinion on this game? I am going to go with Denver Broncos. Just Ooh. Denver and it's close to Aspen and I love going to Aspen so I figure why not oh, there you go I she likes the cold weather with that there yeah, you go yeah. all right well that was your whack of the week and now it is time for my ironclad lock lead pipe cinch personally picked whack of the week oh a delicate whack. very delicate very yes, delicate. Right? yes. my game features the 14 and 3 Arizona Cardinals uh, the 16 and 1 Carolina Panthers as Carson uh, good Lord, I can't point read it. Point to the sky. Point to the sky, Palma. Um, uh, comes up against, look who's in the sky, Cam, Superman Newton <laughs> at Bank of America Stadium. I like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I feel like the Carolina Panthers are the team of destiny <laughs> on this one, and uh, I'm taking the Carolina Panthers. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm actually taking them in a big way. I feel like they're going to really screw up the Arizona Cardinals uh, game plan, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for Carson Palmer to, uh, to uh, um, uh, um, throw a couple of interceptions. Yeah, probably. Uh, Cam uh, Newton is going to go all over the field, and he's going to run for a couple of first downs that they don't expect, and it's going to be a blowout 35-21. Wow, that's my I like opinion. that pick. Thank Good you, pick, Paul. I like mm -hmm. what you think. Thank you. I'm also going with Carolina. There I think uh, I think Cam is just going to be too tough for these guys. Yeah. And Luke Keefe, uh, your player of the game, yeah. is just going to destroy them. Yeah. Uh, Carlson Palmer may not may, may finish the game. It's possible. He might be going out in a body bag. So yeah. I like Carolina. I think it's going to be an, another mini squeak of uh, 74 to 3. There you go. All right. Hey, ladies, uh, do you have an opinion on this game? Now, let's go the other way. Uh, Miss Pepper Anderson, who do you like in this game? I am going to go with Carolina Panthers just because I think Cam Newton is just so delicious. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard wow. that. So, yeah, there you go. So, like kitty cats. All right. uh, uh, Miss Dottie DeVille, who do you like in this game? Huh? I'm going to go with Arizona Cardinals oh. because Carson Palmer is an old friend and ah. Jay is oh. a friend of mine. It's his wife. Oh. And so I've followed him from USC and Cincinnati, and I'm excited. He's you know has this opportunity. So I'm going to say... Go Carson Palmer. There and you go. Wow, good, good for you. That. That's good for wonderful. you. That's loyalty. Nice good for you. All right, yes. there you okay. go. All right, well, those were our ironclad lock lead pipe cinch personally picked wax of the week. And now, um... Fancy. Huh? Fancy must-haves. Now it is time for the fantasy must-haves. What is the fantasy must-haves, you may ask? Well, that's when all of you fantasy football players that have been doing things the entire year, you are now putting together your... Dream teams. And these amazing, these beautiful, these intelligent fantasy girls are going to give you the fantasy must-haves for your fantasy football teams. Uh, Miss Dottie DeVille, who is your fantasy must-have? My fantasy must-have is quarterback Tom Brady of the New England Patriots. He has done 36 touchdowns, nice. 4,770 yards, and yeah. has a quarterback rating of, get this people, 102.2 oh, out of 150. Not too shabby. I would have to say that that guy is on. 
crushable. Oh, you know, yeah. there's a lot of people who have crushes on him. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, good pick. Yeah, good that, pick. Is, that is an excellent fantasy must-have. Uh, Miss Pepper Anderson, who is your fantasy must-have? Well, 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 guys, my fantasy must-have is quarterback Cam Newton. Ooh. Oh, my God, from Carolina Panthers. 35 touchdowns. 3,837 yards, and get this, his quarterback rating is 99.4%. Wow. Yeah, you heard me right, 99.4%. And he is going to crush Arizona! Well, Woo! There you go. These girls are good. Yeah, they did a good job there. All right, well, now go visit our website, thewiseguys.net. That's thewiseguys.net. Wouldn't this look good on your table? Yeah, we're so far past Christmas, you're going to have to think about Valentine's if you're going to save yourselves, gentlemen. All right? Buy some for your dog. Do something, yeah. And, uh, hey, stick around for our video, Guest Whack. Hey, thanks, Wise Guys. It's Geo from the Geo Knows YouTube channel. And for my can't-miss, gotta have, Whack of the Week... I have the Arizona Cardinals going into Carolina and whacking the Panthers, winning the NFC and going to Super Bowl 50. Take Arizona over Carolina, that's my whack of the week. Now let's get you back to Big Polly and Vinny Two Times. And we are back! Hey, the conference championship weekend, hey. and the division championships last week, ah! I didn't do so good. Oh, you didn't do bad, Polly. You went one and three, but yeah. I, on the other hand, went three and one, which means... You are back? I'm back up by one. <laughs> Count me out for tonight's poker game. Something important came up. Oh. Hey, O'Hara, can I uh, have your seat at the poker game? <laughs> sure, why not? All right. Wow, that Dr. Crane sure works wonders. <laughs> I know, and the best part is... Ginny and I have all this newfound energy. Mm. Well, perhaps he can put some of that energy to good use by getting us some more baby wipes. Yeah. I will get you more baby wipes. Wow. And I will see you tonight. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Hey, you know what? What do you see? We get the girls dancing on that happy note. Yeah. Hey, the music is playing. The girls are dancing. That means it's the end of the show, and it's time to say thank you to everybody who made the show possible. First and foremost, we want to say thank you for those wonderful people at the Wacker 6000. That would be us. So thank you, Vinny, two times. Thank you, Big Polly. We also want to say thank you to Captain, that's Captain Guinness O'Hara, who has found some new energy. And some baby wipes. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Yeah. And finally, we want to say thank you to everybody's favorite part of the show. This week, it is Miss Pepper Anderson and Miss Dottie DeVille. Those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls. Thanks, wise guys. <laughs> wow. I never get tired of that. Not at all, not at all. Wow. Well, some good games last yeah, week some, and some good games coming up. Yeah. And how about that Dr. Craig? Yeah, I mean, I've been hearing his name on the lips of people all over town. Yeah, he's like everywhere. Yeah, and speaking of everywhere, we're everywhere, and we're going to be back with our Super Super Bowl special in two weeks on We Pick the Winners, where we, we pick, pick the winners. winners. Oh, good for you. Uh, um, uh, 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 uh